Hey everyone, it's Damon from Big Moxie Games, and we're showing off our new game Wardens Rising at the Big Festival in Sao Paulo. So Wardens, we're really excited about this because there's nothing like it on the market. You know, we take a top-down hero shooter and we mix it up with base defense. So in this game, you play as a hero that embarks on a campaign to defend Earth uh, from these interdimensional enemy invasions. And so these enemies are invading the planet all over, trying to kill our synthesis cores. And the synthesis cores are like this uh, vital energy that was critical to humanity's survival, right? So it's very powerful, like magical energy resource, and like, and the interdimensional enemies now want to come take it. Um, so you're playing as a hero, and you have to defend the base. You run around using your hero abilities. Every hero has like a core attack and four abilities with an ultimate. And they have a, a, a tech loadout, which includes a pet that's following you around. So you can pick whichever pet you want, and they all have different advantages. We have tactical items like bombs and traps and walls and portals. Uh, we also have towers. So while you're fighting, you can build towers. So while you're running around killing enemies, you're building stuff all over the map. And so you can see here the pet is healing her. You're collecting these um, souls, which are these pink little energy cubes, which you use to upgrade um, and uh, pick out new gear. So you can unlock gear, you can upgrade your gear. And then with the heroes, every time you win, you get victory points. And the victory points are used to upgrade your hero. So it's kind of like um, like Overwatch, how you have like the hero with the four abilities and the ultimate, except in this game, you can level up your hero. So you can get make your uh, abilities more powerful, your core attack more powerful, and you can level up all of your traps and your towers. And so you go around and you basically have to defend the entire world from these enemy invasions. And once you do that, you can either do it all over again with a new hero or a harder difficulty level to try to like beat the achievements, or you can play the mission mode. And mission mode lets up to four players play, and you have random invasions on the world. So you pick a map, and the invasion is different every time. So you can keep playing the same map, and you get like a different invasion. So you have to like really be smart and skilled to figure out how to beat it. That's basically it. And so we hopefully will launch either later this year or uh, in February of 2024. And then once we launch the core game, we'll have DLC, like you know, new maps, new campaigns, new game modes, new heroes, new towers. From a gameplay perspective, we were really looking to mix up like the base defense that you find in a MOBA, but we wanted to make it more uh, hero driven, more action packed and make it um, PDE, like you play by yourself or with friends. You know, so we're basically mashing up like that action RPG hero shooter mechanics, but with a base defense perspective. So that was like the, the, the design inspiration, but from an aesthetic perspective, we're very much inspired by like Overwatch and Destiny, and from the art, it's a, the artistic perspective, like Diablo, like was, you know, we're all fans of Diablo. So you can see in the product, it's very much with that top down, you know, Diablo perspective, but you're playing with like Overwatch heroes in, in like this sci fi fantasy world. No, it'll be PC, Xbox, and PlayStation.